I said, I should probably let Dan describe it. I like drawing the pictures. Uh, I'm better at drawing than <laughs> describing it. But uh, um, yeah, we opened up and had something similar to this in uh, September of 2013. And over the past nine months, we've been uh, slowly building it piece by piece. And uh, thanks to all of you out there that have helped that come together by donating money, time, uh, labor, and ideas. Uh, this is all done within the local community. There's no uh, government funding here. So I think that's something to be proud of. Um, and so this project, I think, as you all most, mostly know, is uh, the idea is transitional housing. So it's a stepping stone to a more permanent location. Um, and so a question we get a lot is, where are these people supposed to transition to? And uh, just in the past nine months, we've had over 50 people stay here. So we've had quite a, quite a good transition rate with, uh, I believe, 14, 14 voluntary transitions. Um, but what we've also found is that there's a lot of people that came here with part-time work or they found part-time work since, they, since they've come here. And, uh, but the, they're still not able to afford, or they're still not able to afford the bottom, the bottom, the most bottom sector of the, the rental market. Um, I think the Department of Housing and Urban Development recently said that we're in the worst housing rental affordability crisis that the country has ever seen. Um, so what we want to do with our next project, now that this is up and running and sustaining itself, is, uh, use a similar model to uh, create a longer term affordable housing. So it's based on a similar village model uh, with tiny houses and shared uh, common spaces. Uh, but the, the, the units will be roughly twice as big, 120 to 150 square feet um, with electrical hookups and a small kitchenette and heat. And so it's, it kind of serves as the next step uh, from a place like this. Uh, Knowing how much it'll cost to live there is going to take us a little bit more and knowing how much it's going to cost to build and how much the land is going to cost and how much the operating is going to cost. But we're, we're estimating somewhere around 150 to 200 bucks a month. And uh, Dan did a pretty good job of describing that in the RG article yesterday of, you know, people are, uh, rather than just a rent, people are putting money towards the value of their home. And uh, that then when they leave the village, they can, uh, you know, they're, they're building equity that they can take with them. So that's basically the idea. Uh, so, we're, so we're looking at around 15 units in the picture over there um, with a couple of different types of uh, micro housing and uh, similar shared facilities as we have here. So uh, I'll be around if you guys have any questions about that project I can answer. And uh, right now we're just uh, looking for the, the land and the funds to get started. So it's going to be similar to the last project where we're going to try to uh, raise the money here in the community. and. Uh, you know, use the hands in the community to build it. And uh, so, yeah. All right. Thank you. Woo!